is it's Angelo, and today, in continuation of our Discipline Priest guide, we're having a look at the Discipline Priest's spell priority and healing rotation in Battle for Azeroth. Fortunately, the Discipline Priest has been spared major changes to its gameplay, but nonetheless we find ourselves with a slight shift in playstyle and a new spell priority compared to that of Legion, so there's definitely some things for us to cover. In this video, we'll go over which spells the Discipline Priest has in his or her toolkit and how to then use these said spells in different situations the most effectively. Please keep in mind that nobody is born an expert and the things you see me do in different situations may not be what you've seen other players do or what you would do yourself and that's perfectly fine as that makes us all unique. Now with that being said and without any further ado, let's go right ahead and have a look. The Discipline Priest, unlike any other healer in the game, evolves around a playstyle that is much more engaging in a different way than that of the typical healer. This is because in order for the Disc Priest to heal effectively, the player needs to be able to combine damage absorption and healing effects onto friendly players with dealing damage to enemies. It sounds more difficult than it really is, however, this playstyle does keep you on your feet at all times no matter what's going on. Now, the Disc Priest upholds this balance of damage and healing through maintaining a buff on all friendly players that require healing called Atonement. Atonement has a very straightforward effect. When applied to a friendly player, your spell damage now heals all targets affected by the Atonement for 60% of the damage you have done. This amount goes up with your Mastery rating, but if you want to know more about that specifically, check out my Discipline Priest guide. Now, Atonement can be applied in exactly three ways. Through using Power Word Shield to shield a friendly player, by using Shadow Mend to heal a friendly player, or by using Power Word Radiance to heal five players and spread your Atonement to all five players, however only for 60% of its normal duration. With Power Word Shield and Shadow Mend, Atonement lasts 15 seconds, and with Power Word Radiance, Atonement lasts 9 seconds. This is important to mention, the reason being that almost all of your ability to heal a friendly player or friendly players is reliant upon having atonement on the target that requires healing. Good, enough of that, I hope you're all still with me, let's move on to our damaging spells, which in turn heal. The disc deals damage with 5 abilities, not including talents you can potentially pick like Halo. Those are Shadow Word Pain, Penance, Smite, Holy Nova and Shadow Fiend. Now Shadow Fiend acts completely passively, you just have to activate it and Holy Nova is pretty much only used for very large pulls, while the other 3 abilities are part of your active rotation pretty much at all times. Now, before starting off any combat situation, you want to be sure that your targets are atoned. Before I start off a fight, I'll at least make sure that my tank has Power Word Shield applied to him or her, and then apply atonements to the rest of my group members as there is fit, so either right before they'll be taking damage, which is preferably the case, or right after they have taken damage, in order to heal them through my DPS rotation. After having applied atonement, you want to apply Shadow Word Pain to the enemy target and if there's more than one target, you want to apply it to as many targets as manageable. When playing without Purge the Wicked, which is a talent which replaces Shadow Word Pain with a stronger, longer lasting dot, try and apply Shadow Word Pain to 3-4 to four targets. Now when playing with Purge the Wicked, you can apply it to a lot more due to the extended duration and the fact that you can spread the dot to another target whenever you cast Penance onto a target which has Purge the Wicked applied to it. Once you've set up a dot line onto your enemies, you can begin your active rotation, so cast Shadow Fiend on cooldown and then use Penance and Smite. Penance is essentially your strongest spell and can be used both offensively and defensively. Use it defensively, so on a friendly player, whenever you don't have many players atoned or when a player takes a heavy hit. Now this is going to be the case in most dungeon scenarios especially. 
Use it offensively whenever you do have a lot of targets atoned and want to use its damage to heal your group. This is especially the case in raids. You never want to cancel your penance early, except in high emergency situations where you will need to cast defensive cooldowns. Penance can be cast while moving and you should use this to your advantage in order to reposition yourself during its cast or to move out of an incoming ability without losing DPS. In low level mythic plus keys or for easy raid bosses, you'll pretty much always use atonement offensively, but once you begin to struggle with keeping the health of your group up, definitely revert back to using it defensively. Whenever penance is on cooldown, fill these gaps by using smite and applying the smite debuff to an enemy which will reduce the damage of the next incoming attack. Now let's discuss your cooldowns. You have a few of those and you want to be sure to understand when to use which cooldown in order to be the most effective. Let's start off with Rapture, which serves a very important role in your toolkit. Rapture buffs the potency of any Power Word Shield you cast for the next 10 seconds by 200%, making Power Word Shield a very strong absorption for any player you buff with it. You can therefore use Rapture whenever a hard AoE ability is about to hit your group for example, but you'll want to time it so that your party members are all shielded up before the ability hits. You can also use it in emergency situations, for example when things get a bit hectic. When you have to reapply atonement, but your group is also very low, spreading power ward shields around for your party members while under the effects of rapture can make your life a lot easier in stressful situations. Next, we have pain suppression, which is actually a very straightforward spell. It reduces the damage taken by 40% for 8 seconds on one player and essentially serves as your external tank cooldown. You'll want to be sure to use Pain Suppression preemptively though, this is very important, so before a hard hitting ability hits your target in order to reduce 40% of that damage before it happens. Pain Suppression does not heal any damage away, it just prevents some of it for 8 seconds. Finally, we have Power Wood Barrier, which reduces the damage for all party members within its radius by 25% for 10 seconds. Effectively, this is a weaker pain suppression for your entire party though, and should therefore be used in similar fashion, so preemptively. Good, now that covers the ins and outs of a rotation and spell priority. Now I do advise you to also watch my Discipline Priest guide in order to receive a full understanding of the playstyle, but if all you needed was a breakdown and explanation of our healing rotation, then I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like and if you'd like to stay updated on my content for the future, feel free to subscribe. If you want to engage in active discussions with other priests, share thoughts and ideas, be sure to join our Discord server with a link in the description. Special thanks to all of my patrons over at Patreon and a huge thank you to everyone for watching. Now, have a good one my friends and I will see you all in the next one.